they, they do need to spend more time in the offensive zone. They're spending too much time defending. They, they have a lot more shots per game than any team in the league. And, and that's not a good number to have. So uh, the goaltending is held, held up for largely so far. I mean, there's not one game I can say they lost because of goaltending. That's mm-hmm. for sure. Uh, but if you continue to see 35 shots, and they're averaging allowing 35 shots on goal against, um, the goaltending will wear down. That's that's kind of what happened last year. So uh, they, they've got to spend more time in the offensive zone. And when they're there, they they have to, to, to get in front of the goalie, make life miserable for them, and have some pucks hit off their rear ends and go in. That's basically how slumps end. They don't usually end with a beautiful breakaway or a spectacular three-on-two or two-on-one. It often ends with a guy standing in front and the puck, you know, remember James and Reams like last year, I hit one in, in the chops and go into the net. That's yes. sometimes how slumps come to an end. It's painful, but they'll take it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but and the other thing, and and you probably have this on your list to talk about the power play. It's it's just been uh, just uh, awful. Three for its last forty nine, I believe the numbers. I believe they've scored more goals shorthanded than they have in their power play over the last four or five weeks. So that is huge, and and not only because they're not scoring in the power play, which is enough, but also a lot of players like James Van Riemsdyk, Claude Giroux, I think to some degree now Sean Couturier. Ivan Pro Rough, they feed off of production from the power play. So if they're not getting that, they kind of lose that energy that carries them in five on five play. So, you, you know, you have to get that. You've, you've got to get that power play going. They've tried different combinations, they've tried moving players around. Um, it, it, nothing has seemed to work. Michelle Terrian's the coach in charge of that, so he's taking the heat, but really, uh, it, it comes down to the players executing. Uh, you know, James Van Riemsdyk is one of the best deflectors of pucks in hockey. And uh, I'm not seeing him deflect many pucks. It's, it's almost like they don't even get to the point where they get him in front and get the shots at him. Um, as Chuck Fletcher said today, entries have been a problem on the power play. And when you're having trouble with entries, that means you're having trouble even getting set up. So you can't even get to the point where James Van Reems likes deflecting pucks because you're just not getting the shots. Uh, so, yeah, if they get the power play going, Mark, I think a lot of these other problems in terms of scoring and offense will take care of themselves. Chuck Fletcher addressed the media on Tuesday, and I wanted to ask you about this. You talked about the injuries already, but as far as help being on the way, possibly getting Kevin Hayes back in the not-too-distant future? That was a surprise. I think most of us, uh, when we saw him at practice on Tuesday, were really surprised that it seemed like he was longer term. But not only did he practice, he took part in every drill. Uh, And then after uh, practice, uh, Chuck said that uh, he expects or thinks there's a good chance, at least, that he will play on Wednesday uh, tonight against New York. Um, And then they have that five and seven stretch starting. Uh, Derek Broussard also skated a little bit in practice, but a left felt a little tweak. So I I don't expect him on uh, Wednesday against the Rangers. But but uh, Hayes would be huge because uh, it's, it's just like with anything else. When you get a top line defenseman, top line forward. Everybody else slots down more into a more comfortable position in the lineup when Kevin Hayes is in there. He's also such a, a um, magnetic personality that everyone seems to gravitate toward him. He's a funny guy. He's obviously had tragedy in his life here lately, so everybody's you know cared, caring about him as well. But uh, it, you just sensed a lot of energy in that practice yesterday. So, um, I, I mean, I, I think that uh, this, this would be huge, and then hopefully it's a sign of others. Broussard, eventually Ryan Ellis, who is humongous to this team, because you talk about that slotting that I talked about earlier on D, he goes right up on that top pair, and then everybody kind of falls into a nice spot. Right now, most everyone's kind of reaching a little bit um, and maybe a little overextended. So you get Ellis back, that would be huge too. But he probably won't be back until after the 5-7 and seven stretch. Um, so we'll see. And then there's other guys too they are they're hoping – Wade Allison's down, might be playing this weekend with the Phantoms. I don't know if you remember him last year. He came up. He's like a bolt of lightning. He would be just what this team needs. If if he can play in those games over the weekend with the Phantoms and feels good, he's got the ankle injury, who knows? We might see him for part of that five and seven, and I think he would be – he's a shooter, first of all. He could help the power play. He also just – he just is instant energy. So I think he would be a nice addition. So hopefully they're starting to get some of these guys back. Don't lose other guys. Um, the schedule lessens up after this stretch. They play the next three games against three really good teams, the Rangers, Tampa, and Colorado. Um, and then they get Arizona mixed in there. Arizona is playing better now, but Arizona and Montreal, uh, some of those teams later on in December. So they'll get a chance against some of the lesser lights because through 19 games, they've not played 20, but through 19, 11 of their games were against teams in the top quarter of the league, the top eight. 
So it's been, a, and they've won a, many of the games. I mean, they've beaten Carolina. They've beaten Washington. Uh, you know, they, they've beaten some really, Edmonton, in Edmonton. They've beaten some really good teams. So they've shown they can play with those teams and beat them. Uh, but when they're playing them back to back and and they're not with all their cylinders, with not all their players, uh, that's what, where the trouble started. 